Hey guys, DJ here, back to show you another tutorial on Tech It this time. And this one is an automated fertilizer machine. So this one will make fertilizer to fill your uh, crop matrons automatically, fully automatically. Okay, so you start with a recycle. Oh, actually, we should start with a power source. Just go to creative. Okay, so we'll start with making a quick power source up here. Um, so you'd obviously just connect this up to your power system, which I'm just making for myself now. Now, if you're putting it to a high voltage, then you'll need to use transformers. Okay, so there we go, that one's powered. So, firstly, the f um, first thing you need to do is make something, a system. need to put a chest up here because stuff that goes into this slot here needs to come from the top facing the right way and then you just got to power that one which you can power from behind and a lever which just grab Right, so anything there will now get turned into, or have a chance to get turning into scrap. So from here we'll run a, another cable, which is going to lead to an automatic crafting table. Or a chest, actually we'll put a chest beside the automatic crafting table, that's probably the easiest way to go. So that the automatic crafting table doesn't get forced to take it. is this automatic crafting table is going to it's turning well it's raining that's why so the automatic crafting table is going to be told to make fertilizer there we go so I'll put this one into a this one will go to a distribution part which I forgot to get Now you have to play around with the distribution pipe. I haven't quite mastered it yet. So you have to tell it which way to go. So one way is going to go to the crop matron, which we'll say is this way. Although I haven't got a crop matron set up, so I'll just leave that one over there. So that'll go to a, we'll just put a chest there so it doesn't spit out items. We'll pretend that one's a crop, crop, matron, crop matron. And then this one is actually going to go back into system. So it's going to go into a chest that's here. Because the um, and then the fer this will know to suck out fertilizer. So you need to put fertilizer in there and just make a heap of scrap because we're going to need some. So you just put all your items you want to make to the scrap. Well you can make a cobblestone generator or any kind of generator that's going to produce items to send to this. And now I'm just going to put 10 in here. So it's going to work. Actually just put in a heap of cobblestone to quickly make a couple pieces of scrap so I can make the crafting recipe. Ten's too much apparently. So it's nine. The yeah, eight's the perfect number for this one. It always does vary. That's a scrap for me. Another scrap. So you tell this one once it's got enough fertilizer and scrap to make fertilizer. So you actually have to make some fertilizer to start with. You have to make something yourself and put it into this back chest. Now this one you're going to tell to send. It depends how many crop matrons you have as to how well this one's going to work. So for now I'm just going to send one to each. One to white and one to yellow. Oops, one needs to go there. Okay, and that'll go, so this will go back into the system. You can power it up with um, golden torches golden. So I'll actually put a crop matron down, down now. So she needs to get, actually needs to go to the above the crop matron. Which this 
crop mage when he's going to work because it's underground. But still, you get the idea. There we go, fully automated um, fertilizing machine, providing you provided with a bit of scrap, which you could easily hook up to a cobblestone generator, which is what I usually do. And you have an infinite supply of fertilizer. Radio, this is DJ saying, like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, like our Facebook page, and post on our wall any video requests for the future. DJ out.